Welcome to Crab Got Python. Today we are going to be talking about functions and loops. Let's get started. What do functions do? A function allows you to store small parts of code. Think of it as a variable that is for a group of print statements. So first, when we're making a function, we want to define it. So we can define a, a function using what's called def, D-E-F. And, and then we type in what we want to name our function. Of course, knowing us, well, we're going to name it cheese. And they have parentheses here. And then just like if those statements have a colon, and it has to be indented. Don't forget to indent. Don't don't forget to make sure it's indented. Indenting is very important. Very. So now we can do whatever we want in here. We can do maybe a print statement for maybe like I like cheese. And we can also do another print statement that says cheese is cool and then what we can do now is once we unindent th then we are not going inside our function anymore so what we can do is we can do cheese right here we are calling the function and then we can run and then it prints these two i like cheese and cheese is cool so what it did was cheese ran the function and the function is what's in, inside of here. Now, one more thing we can do with functions is add what's called parameters. So we can add a parameter that's called favorite. And we can type in maybe my favorite cheese is don't forget the space. And we can do favorite. And then what we can do here is you can put in a cheese we want to be the favorite, such as maybe, even though it's the worst cheese ever, goat cheese. Ew. Goat cheese is not a big, good cheese here. I know. It's the worst. Yeah. And then so when we run, it says my favorite cheese is goat cheese, which of course means I have to recode I have to recode this robot now. So let's talk about loops now. A loop makes the repetitive task much easier. It repeats a task a certain amount of times or if condition is, is true or false. There are two types of loops, which includes for loops and while loops. Here is an example of for loops in code. So first, let's start by typing a variable. Maybe let's do fruit equals not a vegetable. And then, and then, so now let's start with the for loop. So we can do for letter in fruit. Here's that colon. And we can maybe do print letter. And so what? And so what it's doing here is this is creating a new variable that I call letter. And so it's saying for every letter in in the the variable fruit, it's going to print that letter. Let's let's watch an action. So as you can see here, it printed every character in the string, not a vegetable not a vegetable. So now let's look at while loops. Um, while loops are pretty simple. 
So let's say we let's assign a variable, and the variable will be x. And x equals choose. So what we'll do is we'll write while x double equals cheese in the colon and remember to indent print cheese. So basically what it's saying is while the variable x is equal to the string cheese, it's going to print this print statement. Now if we run without debugging. Yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend you do this like crazily because you see my terminal is now very filled. Thank you for watching this fabulous video of Crab.Python. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe. Yeah. Double thumbs up. Mm -hmm. See you later. Bye. Ooh. Ah, help!